She was far more worried about the five new MPs elected on the back of what she called sectarian Islamist policy, uh, policies, alien ideas, she said, that have no place here. She means those MPs who voters chose because they opposed the Israeli government's continuing actions in Gaza, didn't she? Yes. So why does she call it sectarian Islamist policies? Well, because I think because those MPs uh, sort of drew their support and sought their support from a particular part of the community that was in, not exclusively, but in large part uh, based on um, religious identity. And I don't think no, politics... Ba well, ba on. Based in large part on, on opposing what the Israeli government was doing in Gaza to the people of Gaza. Yeah, but it was, it was an appeal, not exclusively, but in, but in a significant part to a particular... Um, community and I don't think Meaning doing what? I don't think uh, doing politics based on um, identity is a very um, help, healthy thing for our democracy. What That's do you what mean, I think what do you mean by a particular to. community? Well, I think those MPs were particularly, uh, like George Galloway in that by-election, were particularly appealing to the Muslim community because we obviously feel very strongly, understandably, and what's wrong with that? about the situation in Gaza. Because I think we should try and do our politics based on uh, policy, not based on identity. And, well, the, you know, po the policy was to oppose what the Israeli government was doing in Gaza. Yeah, and I understand that, and that is a, that's a debate you can have, um, but I don't think basing your electoral appeal um, in a way that is um, at all sectarian, I think that's the word she used, um, is very healthy for democracy. Now, we see that in some parts of the world, and I would like to see our politics done based on debates about a range of policy issues. I also think, by the way, just picking a single issue, important though it is, I mean, the Gaza-Israel conflict is an extremely important issue, people's lives are at stake. It's a really important issue, but it's not the only issue. Sure, but and I would like to see people can vote for whoever they yeah, want. But they can. And I, but I would like. And you've just singled out the Muslim community as though, as though politicians can't particularly appeal to the Muslim community. Well, I think politicians, any politicians uh, of any party, and indeed independents as well, should seek to appeal and pitch their offer broadly to the whole and many community. Of them did. Because, many because, of them did. because we are we are one country. Uh, we're all equal citizens, and I think any politician should seek to unite and should seek to have a, have a broad appeal um, to everybody. And, regardless and, and of you, are you claiming tonight that Kemi Badnock is a politician that seeks to unite? Uh, I, well, I think she is. A, yes, I do. Yes, I'm, I'm saying really? that because she is, a, she is a politician who is seeking to, to reach out across the whole country. She's seeking to stand up um, for people whose voices often aren't heard. Well, she's just insulted those people who voted for those five new MPs. And this is what they have said tonight. Kemi Badnock's outrageous slur is an attack on democracy. By describing these demands as sectarian Islamist politics, Badenoch maligns thousands of voters and peace campaigners. Her smear should be called out for what it is, Islamophobia. Uh, well, I don't think it is. Obviously, she respects, the Conservative Party respect voters from all backgrounds, including Muslim voters, of course, as well. We well, also apart respect- Apart from these who voted for those well, MPs, we, we also, it would appear. We, we also respect the concerns they have, the legitimate concerns they have about the war uh, in uh, currently happening in Gaza, but you know, I think it's just healthier for democracy when uh, people running for elected office are seeking to appeal broadly and campaigning on a on a range of issues, which they say they were. It, they say in their statement tonight, not only as they put it, the ongoing massacre of Palestinians, but the two child benefits cap, the rights of refugees, and so on. Yeah, well, I think you know, their campaign um, obviously was successful in those four or five cases, but I think. You know, we would like to see, I think it's more better for democracy when campaigns are very broadly based and targeted at the whole community.